appreciate that. Y'all appreciate that. Ray tried to make me seem like I was Einstein. I'm, I'm stupid, y'all. Don't believe Ray. I'm stupid. Anybody like fighting? I'm not going to check you on that. I believe it. I believe it. I'm not a fighter. I am not a fighter. The, re the real reason I like fighting is because I got soft hands. You can't beat anybody up when you got soft hands and you're a grown man. It don't work like that. I don't even know my hands got so soft. Just my whole life when I meet women and I shake their hand, they all say the same thing. All women say the same thing. They all say, oh, my God, your hands are soft. Oh, my God, your hands are way too soft. Oh, my God, why are your hands so soft? And what women are really saying in that moment is I've translated it. What they're really saying is, oh, my God, this man cannot protect me if something goes down. <laughs> They're 100% correct. I am not a protector. That's not what I'm here to do. My hands were not made for slapping and punching people. My hands were made for dialing 911. I got snitch fingers. They slide across touchscreen phones with real little friction. Just one swipe, 911 issue is handled. It's done. I'm tired of the government. Been tired of the government. I'm not, I'm not, yeah, you can clap it up for that if you're tired of the government too. Who cares? Tired of them. They get nothing done. And the least they could do is just give us a new day off. That's the least you could do. Just give us another holiday. Take the day off from work. If I was president, we would have a three day weekend like every two weeks. It wouldn't make any sense. We would always be off. And the days, the holidays would be stupid, just silly, random days. They wouldn't make any sense. You going to work tomorrow, man? Nah, fool. Tomorrow is Wesley Snipes Day. What's wrong with you? I'm chilling. What's wrong with you? Trump's been a terrible president, and he's pissed a lot of people off. But if he came out tomorrow and gave us a new federal holiday, a new day off, I might let bygones be bygones. I might. If he named it Make America Great Again Day, I'll be so angry. I'll be furious if he named it Make America Great Again Day but I'm still not going to work on that day either, so can't be too mad. Any Aries in the building? All my Aries make some noise. Aries make some noise. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to y'all. Happy birthday. Don't be one of those people, though, that blames their behavior on that Zodiac sign. You ever hear people do that? Try to excuse their Zodiac sign as for their behavior? I'm crazy because I'm a Capricorn. I'm a Capricorn, so I'm crazy. You're not crazy because you're a Capricorn. You're crazy because you eat M&Ms with a fork. Don't try to make us other Capricorns look stupid. Honestly, I don't think it's fair. I think we just use Zodiac signs as another excuse to judge people and to like not date each other. That's the only reason we use Zodiac signs, I feel like. like. I was talking to this girl one time. I was like, what's your sign? She was like, a Leo. I was like, I'm a Capricorn. She was like, uh-uh, we not compatible. Huh? You know people are buying sex robots now? We got human flesh, we can make it work. I don't think it's fair to judge people by their zodiac signs. I think we need to take it back to the old days and judge people by their line of work, their job, their career. It's a much simpler time, I respect that. What you do? I'm a comedian. Uh-uh, you broke, we not compatible. <laughs> Thank you for your honesty, miss. Have a good night. Thank you, I appreciate that. Anybody here on the first date? What was, what was that? Was that a squeak? What was that? Oh, you all, oh, first date. Give it up. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. Who's the, who the two date, date, daters? Who are the, y'all two? Who's paying? How much you spending? How much you spending? What do you, I'm just trying to figure out what's a respectable amount you should spend on a first date if you're paying. You wait on the bill? Okay, you just gonna let it just flow out and see what happens? All right, you gonna wing it. All right, respect that. That's what's up. I, was, I asked that question one time, how much you should spend on the first date, and a lady yelled out, $200! That's all right. You want a Honda car note on your? What are you eating? Let me explain something, ladies. Any man that will spend 200 or any kind of high priced amount of money on a first date, ladies. He is irresponsible. <laughs> I 
You do not need that kind of irrational behavior in your life. You need a guy like me that will spend $28 on a Groupon, two for one meal, two for one meal, drinks included. You want a second drink, I can give you my drink and show you what kind of sharing and caring guy I am. See how that works? I'm thoughtful. I care. I'm serious, ladies. Any man that would spend like 200 or any kind of high priced amount of money on a first date, ladies, that dude is a poor decision maker, and most importantly, he is a risk taker. A risk taker. The first time y'all try to have sex, what's he gonna try to do? He's gonna try to take a risk. He's gonna try to slide it in unprotected, no condom, just raw. Might even try to finish in you, get you pregnant. At least that's what I would do if I spent $200 on a first date. That's my course of action. Because if I spend $200 on a first date, ladies, there is no money left over for me to buy condoms. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not going in overdraft for no latex. I, personally, I don't even like paying for friends like that. Because sometimes your friends don't, they don't, they, don't they don't appreciate the nice gesture when you pay for them or cover for something for them. I went out to the strip club with my homie. He didn't have any cash on him, so I dropped $40 for him to get in. This fool was too drunk. As soon as we got in there, within 20 minutes, he got put out for touching one of the strippers. Got put out after I spent $40 on him to get in there. I was so mad, when security went over there to beat him up and toss him out, I jumped in and helped security. I threw like two or three jabs in his face. We got in the car, he was like, damn, somebody hit me in my face like twice. It was like some soft hands too. I was like, man, what? That's messed up, I don't know who did that. I'm Talib Bab, get up for Radio John one more time. Thank y'all, appreciate it. <laughs>